Have you ever wondered what it would look like if China decided to make their own Rambo film? Something like Rambo 3 or 4? Well, wonder no more. China would like to present to you Wolf Warrior 2, the supposed sequel to Wolf Warrior. This film is so patriotically up itself that eventually you expect the cast to start vomiting Chinese flags everywhere. And the worst part is the movie makes no apologies for it. But can a dumb action film from China be fun? Watch on to find out. It's clear there's been a huge shift in cinema since the start of 2010. More and more American movies are starting to cater to Chinese audiences, so eventually China was going to start making films that they could market and present overseas. And this is exactly where Wolf Warrior 2 fits in. This movie has the clear intention of trying to convince someone that China is really the good guy. Now, we're not suggesting they are bad guys, it's just that this whole good guy scenario in this film is so far-fetched, it's farcical. Some key lines in the movie to prove our point include, China is part of the UN, don't attack the Chinese. We can't assist in this war, we don't have permission from the UN. And China and Africa are friends, please put down the gun. Which then resulted in a hilarious scene involving bloodthirsty murderous rebels calmly laying down their arms and walking away. plot? Something about a super awesome Chinese soldier who was discharged from the People's Liberation Army for assaulting a civilian who rightfully deserved it. He ends up in a made-up African country as a black market merchant. A civil war breaks out and he finds refuge in the Chinese embassy which just happened to be down the road. He identifies himself as an ex-soldier and volunteers for a suicidal mission to save the brilliant Dr. Chen. A doctor that everyone wants due to the fact he has developed a cure for a mysterious disease ravaging local villages. For those looking for a familiar face, Frank Grillo is in this. He is the guy from one of the Purge sequels. He plays a bad guy because that's the in thing in China, to have Americans as the bad guys. You tell him what you told me. Dr. Chen is at the St. Francis Chinese Invested Hospital. Good boy. Jing Wu not only plays the main character, but he is also the writer and director. And he has made sure that everything in this movie is over the top ridiculous. By the end of the movie, he should have died no less than 15 times but he seems to be some kind of superhuman with a super movie budget where everything you can think of could happen in an action movie happens. Everything. This movie is so stupid, you must watch it. It's over the top, reminiscent of 80s American action films with bad acting, massive effects, stupid story, and an unbelievable ending. Have you seen Wolf Warrior 2? Leave a comment below and tell us your thoughts. And thank you for watching this review. Your viewing helps small channels like ours survive and encourages us to create more content. If you like the work we do, please like this video and subscribe to keep up to date with our regular movie reviews. Follow our reviews on Reddit and profile on Instagram.